week, Kyle. How was practice? It was good. This is our last double day. Uh, you know, Friday will be more of a walkthrough in the afternoon. It, you could actually have a one more opportunity for it, but uh, it's Friday will be what six days out from the game. So, so we'll get the last double day in today. It was a uh, good practice this morning. Good tempo. Uh, getting a lot of good uh, looks from the scout teams. Applaud the scout teams. The guys that are giving us the the Idaho State. Uh, you know, simulating Idaho State offense and defense. Those guys are working hard, and we couldn't do without them. So a shout out to the uh, scout teams for us, which, which uh, you know, a lot of the guys, those guys are walk-ons, and we appreciate their efforts. Are they the standouts today? Or standouts are the scout teams. Standouts are the scout teams. Are you having a scrimmage tomorrow? Or? No, that was. Uh, we've got all the live work we're going to get with the ones. We may have a little bit of live work with the twos in the morning, but uh, the ones have had all the live work that they're going to get before the game. And so the answer, short answer is no, no scrimmage tomorrow. Can you talk a little bit about Jackson's situation? Have you guys made a determination on whether or not he'll Jackson play? Barton? Yeah. He's working hard. He's doing a great job. He's learning. He's progressing. Um, you know, we won't make any decisions on red shirts, maybe for definitively till the fourth week of the season. You know, we have up until I think it's the fourth game to uh, make those decisions for certain. And so right now, nobody on the team is red shirting. And, uh, you know, as, as the weeks go by, We'll probably end up redshirting maybe a, a dozen guys, but that's to be determined. Will you talk about that battle at right tackle? It seemed like did something change with Jackson, and because he was competing for that job, and then he was not. Did something change? No, he wasn't competing for the job. He was getting reps with with the twos partially, but uh, Dealman is as a. Uh, you know, it's really Sam Tevy is the guy that's that's competing for that job now. We think, you know, Jackson played left tackle in high school, all his high school years. So we just, you know, we we decided, you know, after getting to look at him at right tackle for a, for a period of time, we're going to move him over to left where he actually feels more comfortable and uh, just continue to get him reps over there. And so he's, uh, you know, we're very happy with him. Bottom line, we think he's going to have a, a tremendous career here. It's just we want to make sure his level of readiness is there before we before we uh, get him going with the with the ones. With about a week to go before your first game, what are you looking for in these practices right now? To can you continue to clean up the execution, continue to eliminate mistakes, uh, mental mistakes in particular. Those those should start to dwindle down to virtually none. You know, before by uh, early next week, um, we got to continue to work on our level of fitness. You know, with the high tempo offense that we run and the high tempo offenses that we have to defend every week we got to make sure that we keep our cardiovascular level where it needs to be we saw the the kicking team come out and and kick it pretty quickly are you trying to go fast with that as well no that was a lightning situation you never want to rush your kicker unless the, the clock is a factor and so every once in a while we'll we'll send the kickers out and the, while the, the field goal unit out with a uh, a clock you know it's simulating we have no timeouts the clock is running we have no it's fourth down so we can't spike it to stop it and so that situation may very very well may come up this this year and so we work that probably six or seven times during fall camp how many quarterbacks are you hoping to see play next week two yeah well, travis is the starter and and like we said before kendall has earned the right to play and uh that'll probably be uh the end of it for next week We'll see, though. You know, situations will dictate. If, if situations dictate differently, then we'll then we'll react. What are your biggest areas of need or concern as, as you come down this week? Do you think? As a team, or as uh, yeah, as a team or individual units. Or? Uh, well, continuing to get the offensive line, those five starters that were named a few days ago, uh, working together and, and uh, feeling comfortable with each other. Um, secondary, you know, we've had Blecken for most of the practices. We've had to sit him out for a few of them. But uh, making sure the secondary is is on the same page and, and uh, has the opportunity to continue to work together. Coaches, we're winding fall camp down and beginning game prep. How do you feel like fall camp has gone for you? Are you satisfied with the work you guys have gotten? Very good. Yeah, it hasn't been as physical. And then when I say that, not as many live reps. It's been physical, but there hasn't been as much live work as in years past. Uh, and consequently, I think we came out healthier. You know, it's a give. It's give and take, though. You know, you you, you know the tackling. Uh, in, in order to become good tacklers, you got to tackle to the ground, and we haven't done as much of that. We're working hard in the individual period against the scouts to to try to make up some of that ground, uh, just with our with our tackling drills within the individual periods. But uh, overall, I give camp a, a solid A, and like I said, we came out very healthy uh, and pleased with with uh, you know with that aspect. We just really lost Reggie Porter, which was unfortunate, but uh, you know you, it was pretty good for the most part. 
Do you feel like uh, having Eric Rowe at corner, he's done enough for, for that position, or are you hoping to see more out of him? Oh, he's done a nice job. You know, he's been guarding Drez most of camp, and that's tough duty, and so he's got a, a big challenge every single day. But uh, we think he's in the right spot. Now, if we have a problem with safety, you know, that's the first guy we go to to answer the, get the, to get the problem solved is Eric if we need to do that. But uh, if, if everything goes as planned at safety, Eric's playing corner is more dependent on how the safety position goes than anything else. And so if we hold the fort down there and do, do the job we think we're going to do, Eric will stay a full-time corner. Uh, if things have uh, problems in this in the safety position due to injury or whatever, like I said, he's the guy with experience back there that could go back there in a heartbeat and, and uh, play free safety for us. So you would go to Eric before you go to BA? Right now, yes. BA's not quite ready. BA's not quite ready. You got to you got to get your best five secondary guys on the field, and uh, whatever combination that that dictates. And and so you know the the next corner up would would be uh, ahead of uh, Brian right now. But Brian's made good progress. You know, he's just been at the position for a few weeks uh, and then a couple weeks in spring, and so he's relatively new to it, but he has made a ton of progress, as Charlie, Charlie Henderson has as well, and Marcus Williams, our true freshman, is doing a nice job. Really hurt us to lose Andre Godfrey. You know, he was a guy that was, that was really starting to show up, and, and uh, now he's out, but sh hopefully we get him back soon. So who would you go next guy up at corner? Well, we got... Uh, JT Thomas, uh, who's our starting nickel. Uh, Wykey Freeman is the first guy up inside. We, we kind of separate inside and outside. And uh, Wykey Freeman would be the first guy up uh, inside. And if we had a problem outside, we'd probably bump JT outside and plug Wykey in inside. So, so it, it's kind of, a, again, best five, a, a way to get the best five on the field. Are you feeling comfortable with the health of Fleckin and Carter in safety position? So far, you know, we've had to treat Brian a little differently during fall camp. His, his uh, situation doesn't allow him to go the full two-a-days uh, regimen, and so we've, we've modified what he's done. We had to mo modify Tevin early, but since, since that first, uh, uh, what was it, practice five or six, he was not able to go. Since that period of time, he's been able to hit every practice and, and continue to get better. And so, so uh, yeah, we hope they're both healthy on Thursday, a week from uh, tomorrow, and away we go. You talk a lot about pace during fall camp. Mm -hmm. From day one to today, how much progress have you guys made on playing at pace? Oh, it's markedly better. As far as the tempo of the offense, it's, it's, it's where it needs to be. You know, now it's just a matter of execution. And uh, as I've said a hundred times, execution always trumps pace. And if the pace gets too frantic, the execution suffers, then you're, then you're defeating the purpose. And do you feel like you guys at that pace are mentally executing better? I think so. Yeah, I think without a doubt. And if you, particularly if you compare it to spring, now towards the end of spring we started getting close to where we need to be. But, but we're, our tempo was a whole different animal right now than it was in spring football.